It's almost 6.30. You're watching East Midlands Today. Tonight, how would you like this on your doorstep? Very good evening and welcome to Wednesday's programme with Peter Penze and me, Dominic Hill. All those stories to come, but first tonight, a young boy from Nottinghamshire has had a nail driven into the back of his head when someone threw a plank at him. The parents of nine-year-old Romeo Smith think he may have been targeted because he's autistic. Our reporter Simon Ward's in the newsroom now and following this for us. We should say that some viewers might find one of the pictures distressing. This is truly a, a horrific story, Simon. Uh, what, what more do we know about this? Next, the villagers who say their lives are being blighted by tonnes of plastic rubbish illegally dumped near their homes. The bales of plastic were first reported to the authorities back in October on land near Cotgrave in Nottinghamshire. Since then, they've been set on fire and they've split. People say it's a mess and a health hazard. Joe Healy reports. Four dogs have been seized and a woman taken to hospital after reports of a dog attack in Nottinghamshire. It happened in Clipston this morning. Well, our reporter Helen Assel is there for us now and can tell us more. Helen. You're watching East Midlands today and still to come this evening, a celebrity visitor to the Peak Park. And if you're out and about exploring our beautiful region over the next few days, there's plenty of dry weather and even some sunshine to be had. I'll have your full forecast later. Next, though, an exclusive look at how some of our police officers will soon be flying drones to fight crime. The Lincolnshire Falls will be the first in the East Midlands to use the new technology. Yes, the drones will also search for people who've gone missing and they're expecting to get permission for liftoff by the end of this month. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Bosworth Battlefield has been targeted by treasure hunters who illegally look for historical artefacts. Several Now, it used to be a simple choice. Spend a couple of hours in a supermarket doing the weekly shop or get your food and essentials probably every other day from your local independent retailers. But in the past few years, the lines have become a little bit more blurred. Thousands of new small shops owned by the big names have opened on high streets across the country. But how is the arrival of these big fish affecting the minnows, like the local butcher and greengrocer? In the first of two special reports, I've been trying to find out. I think we're both very familiar with the Melton Road shops, aren't we? We are. I hope that um, they do OK. Yes, well, it's really interesting because tomorrow we go to Queen's Road in Leicester, which had the same dilemma ten years ago, and we have a look at the impact there, and it's quite interesting what comes up. OK, we'll look forward to that. A college in Leicestershire that provides education and vocational training for youngsters that have fallen out of mainstream education is to close. Now, all this week, around 50 children are taking part in a special camp in Leicestershire for those with type 1 diabetes. Yes, Camp Charnwood has been running now for more than 30 years and involves activities like climbing and canoeing, as well as learning how to manage the condition. Giles Taylor reports. I love those little sumo wrestling I know. It's like so much fun and really great idea. Thing, weebles wobble but they don't fall down. You're too young, aren't you, to remember that? I'm not saying anything. Colin. Now, the Derbyshire Peak District has a newly refurbished flagship visitor centre. The building in Castleton was opened today. Yes, and the man with the job of carrying out the official opening was the country file and former Newsround presenter, John Craven. Peter Saul went along too. It is a beautiful part of the world, isn't it? It is, although it has been a bit of a washout recently, but things that are doesn't changing. That does There's no such thing as bad weather, just unsuitable clothing, isn't that right? Oh, definitely. Always have your wellies in the boots, just in case. Now, the weather is improving, as Dominic said and Geeta just said there, so some nicer weather is to come over the next couple of days. But as we know, we started the day with all that rainfall. However, that rain has now cleared away and we're starting to see some sunshine breaking through as you can just see here behind the cable cars at the heights of Abraham. Thank you to both of you for sending in your photos. Now, with the weather improving, it's the perfect opportunity to sign up to be a weather watcher. bbc.co.uk forward slash weather watchers. All the information is there. You don't need a fancy camera. A camera phone will do, but just remember to send your photo and take your photo landscape and not portrait. And you never know, your photo might just be here behind 
behind me over the next couple of days. So I'm hoping some of you will join us. Now, tomorrow it is a better day. Dry and settled with plenty of sunny spells around. But all that rainfall, let's just talk about that briefly. It did with us through yesterday, through the night and through this morning, but it started to clear away down to the south and the east and we're now pretty much dry out there across the East Midlands. We're seeing some sunshine, as I say. Parts of Leicestershire should still see some before it gets dark. And then it's a settled, quiet night, clear spells and fairly cool for the time of the year with a low of 10 degrees. A decent day is in store on Thursday. Plenty of sunshine throughout the morning. Cloud is going to bubble up as we go into the afternoon, but still decent breaks with some bright or sunny intervals and temperatures not doing too badly. Highs of 20 degrees. Friday starts off well, but we do see some rain pushing in during the afternoon. So a dry morning, and this rainfall is pushing its way gradually south and eastwards. It should start to break up and be fairly light and patchy by the time it gets to us by mid to late afternoon. However, the good news is that all clears away and the weekend is looking pretty good. The weather fronts are staying away across the weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday are set to be dry. Temperatures a little bit below average. Not water or sunshine, but there will be sunshine and it is going to be dry. Anna, we like your forecast. That's we'll excellent. take that. It's yes. Feels like it's been raining for weeks, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Now then, are we both weather watchers? Have we both signed up? I haven't actually. I feel shame. You no, know, it's on my studio list now as well. <laughs> Get it done. Uh, that's <laughs> it. I'll be back with your late news at 10:30. Hope to see you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.